Hello, everybody. It's Rose popping back in. In case you don't know me, <laughs> it's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room. I've got my tea and my Create mug, my second cup of tea. <laughs> this is, in case you're counting, this is my fourth Facebook Live today. I am over the moon excited. Who is with me? Who else is excited that this new catalog is live? I'm just super excited that I can share all of it with you, the inside pages, uh, the bundles that I have here that I've been dying to share with you. I, I'm in love with all of it. So thank you all for popping back in. I'm gonna put my tea down. I have a fun bundle that I wanna share with you. I was so excited, you guys. When the catalog came out live and they announced it at on stage, I was so excited that there were so many punches. Anybody else share this with me? I was really over the moon happy about the punches because I love, love, love punches. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Thank you for popping in and joining me for all of my videos. I have one more left tonight at seven, you guys. After supper, I'll be joining you and I'll be doing prizes for those of you in Canada. I cannot do prizes for people that don't live in Canada, so I, I apologize to my American and Aussie and uh, New Zealand and from anywhere else in the world, but I can only do business in Canada. That is a Stampin' Up! rule. So, um, but I, I appreciate your support. I appreciate you coming back to watch me. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna play with another punch bundle. Can you guess which one it is? <laughs> oh my. Okay, so let me flip the camera, point you, just moving my paper trimmer out of the way here. And uh, I'm going to point you down at my work surface. I just got to move my stand. Whoop! <laughs> Things are getting really crazy in here. Aw, thank you, Kathy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that feedback because I've never done this before. I have never done this kind of thing where I do five, five Facebook Lives in a day. Ah, Shelly, yes, the hedgehogs. Not to, not right now, though. Come back tonight at 7. I'm going to be focusing on the hedgehog. I have a fun card to share with you at 7. So I love the hedgehogs, yes. Okay, so let's flip, and I'll point you down at my work surface here. <laughs> and let's tilt. It is bright, sunny, and deceptive, as I mentioned before. Like, I feel like a cat today. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Thank you for coming back. I, the, a cat is not my favorite animal, let me tell you. My favorite animal, if I were to get a pet uh, for our family, uh, if we were to get a pet, it would be a dog. Um, but I feel like a cat today because I just want to sit next to a window and sit in the warm sun. Such warm sun. Thank you, Maureen. Oh, I appreciate that feedback, Maureen. That is so lovely of you to comment. Thank you for joining me. Okay, so let's get started here. I've got lots of sun coming through my window. Let's see if I can get this so that you guys don't have to see all the different shades of light. Okay, that's a bit better. Hi, Camilla. Thanks for joining. Okay, this is my work surface here. And let's get this straightened up here. Okay, so today the catalog went live. And I have ordering specials, three levels of ordering specials for you guys. Um, if you spend a $35 order, you're going to get card packages from all five of the cards I'm doing today live. If you bump your order up to 60, which it would be very smart if you did, because you're going to get something from this catalog for free, right? A level one set for free. Or it could be a set, it like this one here. It could be paper. So many pattern paper packages in this catalog. Um, the catching butterflies, the driving by. Oh my gosh, so many, so many. The sun, sunshine, and rainbows paper. Gorgeous. You guys have seen me play with that. Um, the marvelous, simply marvelous paper get that for free. Oh my gosh. The awesome otters. Oh my gosh. Um, I love it. Love, love, love it. This one here, this bundle, the hello, uh, friendly hello and the 12 by 12 paper, gorgeous, gorgeous bundle. And you get both of them for free. When you bump your order up to 120, you get the stamp set and the 12 by 12 paper. Absolutely gorgeous. 
um, special moments. This one here is also a great, great stamp set. Really nice greetings, you guys. So if you're bumping your order up to 120, this would be a good one. Specials, Debbie. Yes, there is absolutely a special. You get to pick $165 worth. If you're in Canada, you get to pick $165 worth of product. You only pay $135, no shipping or GST or no shipping or tax. And the bonus for celebration when you sign up, you get two free stamp sets of your choice, any value. So go through the catalogs, pick the most expensive, of course, <laughs> and you get to pick two of them. So it's a perfect time to sign up, Debbie. Okay, when you host a party, you get, and your party gets to $375, you're going to get this stamp set for free with your hostess credits. Isn't that beautiful? Um, I have uh, a card club that runs every month as well as a scrapbook club. And I'm sure these two months for January and February, my four hostesses are going to be getting this set. I'm so excited. Plus all the other free stuff that they get. And all of my card club ladies, I can brag and say that they all have gotten in the last two years, they've got um, a $77 shopping spree minimum and a half price item. So can you imagine for January and February, my lovely hostesses are going to get Calming Camellia, at least a $77 shopping spree and a half price item. It pays to be a part of the club. Plus they get a free class every month. I send them the class packages in the mail. We meet on Zoom. We have a private, we also have a private Facebook group where I upload a video exclusive just to them of me demonstrating the projects if they can't make the Zoom call. So it's a beautiful, beautiful thing to be a club member. I invite you to join us. Let me know if you'd like to join. Okay, so if you join, yes, you get two free stamp sets. So go through the catalogs and pick your stamp sets. We have so many beautiful ones. All right, that is the celebration mini. Let's talk about the bundle I'm going to focus on right now. It's this one right here, Cactus Cuties. Cactus Cuties bundles is a stamp set that is photopolymer. Okay, looks like this. And you get all these gorgeous little images for cactus. <laughs> it's so adorable. I just got mine put onto my case. I get rid of the flimsy paper. I get rid of the thicker paper. I don't get rid of it, actually. The thicker one, I save it for making shaker cards. It's like a thick window sheet, right? So I hold on to those. I keep them in my drawer. I have a little stack of them. But I love that Stampin' Up! is doing this. They're putting on the inside piece they're putting um, the prints. So you can put your stamps in your case right onto the plastic and they're ready to go as soon as you open it. <laughs> yes, you do need it. Absolutely, you need it. This is a beautiful little stamp set and it holds the colors, um, the ink so nicely. It's gorgeous. Okay, so something that I wanted to do when I was looking at the stamp set and the matching punch, let's bring in the punch and show you what it looks like. So here we have um, the different parts of the cactus and of course it's called the cactus cuties or sorry cactus builder punch so you can build your cactus there's this one here they all coordinate right so this coordinates with this uh, flower pot this one coordinates with this image and this one with that one and then of course the little flowering part of the cactus right there. Okay, so I love to use designer series paper when I make my cards. So I was looking at this set, and of course you can stamp it and punch it, right? That's why it was designed um, with a punch. But I was, I'm was i also in love with the flowering fields paper. So I was like, how can I use this paper with the cactus builder punch and make a cactus um, really easily without stamping? So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I have a card base here. Let's see. I'm going to move this out of the way. I have, this is Mossy Meadow. Now, if you want to get a closer look at this paper, I did show all of the patterns. I think it was probably in my video number three today. <laughs> they are all going to be loaded over my YouTube channel. It takes a while to load them, so I'm just doing one at a time, but they should be up by the end of the day. And you can go back and rewatch all of them. Okay, so this is Mossy Meadow. I've cut it down the center of my eight and a half side, so at four and a quarter by 11, scored it in the middle at five and a half, and then I'm going to take it a step further, and I'm going to trim the front. So I'm bringing back my paper trimmer. 
I'm going to take the center score line. I'm going to line that up with the two and a quarter inch mark. And I'm going to cut. So basically, if you want measurements, I cut off uh, three and a quarter. Three and a quarter inches off of here. You see me make this card many times. Um, a few of my friends call it the Bonnie fold. <laughs> my friend Bonnie Allers O'Neill from the United States loves to do this fold. Um, and it's so nice because you have no wastage. So you take this piece, you cut it at three and a quarter, and then you turn it. And it's going to sit like this on my card. So it changes the orientation of the card really nicely. Um, so that's all I need my paper trimmer for. So let's go back to our flowering fields paper. I have this pattern here. This is Mango Melody. I love that color. It has these nice little blooms. I'm going to put that on this side panel here. So let me grab my glue and we're going to glue it down. When the sun shines through the window, it gets warm in here. I'm not complaining. I'll never complain about heat again, I don't think. We've had such a cold winter already and it's only January 4th. Oh my heavens. Okay, so when the sun shines through, I think the glue flows a lot easier. <laughs> okay, so I've got that. Let me just grab my bone folder and reinforce my score line. Okay, so now I have this piece that's gonna sit right here. And I have a piece of basic white that measures four by five and a quarter. And that's gonna go on the inside. But of course, we always stamp before we stick, right? So I'm not, not gonna stick that yet. I'm just gonna place that there. And I have a little strip of cinnamon cider that measures three quarters of an inch by, um, what does it measure? Three quarters of an inch, let me measure that. I got my ruler here by four, okay? So that's gonna sit across, I'll go ahead and glue this down. That, so that's gonna go across this mossy meadow piece in the front. So I've gone ahead and ran that through the 3D bark emboss, the bark 3D embossing folder. And that's how I got that texture on there. So that's a strip right there. So we're gonna build a cactus now. So I'm gonna put, put that off to the side and we're gonna bring in our cactus builder punch and we're gonna build a cactus out of designer series paper. So the first thing I wanna do is grab my punch and I'm going to punch the planter. So the planter is going to be this beautiful poppy parade polka dot paper. Oh, that's a lot of peas. Poppy parade polka dot paper. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. Okay, <laughs> so we use this on the card I did at one o'clock. I did a card with the ladybug punch, but today we're going to use it for the flower pot. So that's going to be my cactus pot. Then I'm going to bring in this piece here, it has beautiful tulips on this side, but I'm gonna use this side over here for my cactus. So I'm gonna just come along the side because I've been chopping away at this corner. So I'm gonna stay on this side of my paper and I'm just gonna slip this into my paper, into my punch and let's see, like this, there we go. So I'm gonna get the bottom part of the cactus and one of the little nubs. I don't know if that's the technical term. That's what I'm calling it, <laughs> little nub. Okay, so let's put all of these on my silicone mat so I know where they're at and they're ready for glue. So I need three, four of those little, what is the name of it? It's just a nub. I'm calling it a nub, I'm going with it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my punch and come in here and do three more. One, two, three. All right, so. Let's see, we've got these. So those are gonna be to build my cactus. And then what I have here, I was working with this one earlier. So this is my, I call it a fishing pole. I always like to do this when I don't wanna to use too much paper. I just need a little strip and I wanna feed it into my punch. So I want to use this and I'm gonna use it to punch out this little flower. So I've attached it just with a little bit of glue to the bottom of my little scrap piece of basic white. And I'm just gonna feed this into my punch. And I wanna bring it over here to, can you see that? I'll hold it a little closer. I'm just lining that up in the flower spot. 
like so. And then I'm gonna punch it. You get all these little pieces, but that's okay. So I need three of those. So there's one. Let's see if I can get another one out of this one. Two. And I need another one. I do have a scrap right here that'll probably fit. Now you don't have to line up those blooms. Oops. <laughs> but you can. Let's see. Feed it in. I'm just gonna have this one. Let's see. There we go. Oh, look, I got a I got a little flower pot like that one. What's the what's the flip side? Oh, it's got tulips on it. Okay, so I just want these little blooms here. And where's my other one? I know I had another one. This this is what happens on Facebook Live. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our pieces now. So let's build this cactus. So I'm gonna grab my glue and I'm just gonna add glue to the very bottom of the main cactus body. And then all these little tiny nubs or whatever they're called. I apologize if you are well-versed in the cacti, <laughs> you probably know what all these extensions are called. I apologize, I just don't know. But anyway, they're just parts of the cactus. So I'm just adding glue to the tips of them. And same thing with the flower. This is the beauty of multi-purpose glue is you can actually just wait a second and then put it together. Because once it makes contact with the paper, it's gonna stick. So I'm gonna use my take your pick tool. I'm just gonna pick up my pieces here. And actually, I'm gonna pick up my flowers and I'll just put that one up there. Pick up the pot and I'll just lay it at the bottom of this piece. And then I'm just gonna build. So I'm gonna put one here, I'm gonna put one over here. I'm just gently lifting up the cactus and putting them in place. And there's no real right or wrong way to do this. You know, plants grow in all different directions. So let's go ahead and just place them together. And I got one stuck to my finger here. <laughs> Okay, so we can pick up the little flowers now and tuck them in behind one at a time. See, it's so much faster when you do all the gluing at once and things just go a lot smoother. There we go. So we've got our cute little cactus in the pot there. I'm just gonna flip it over and put a couple of dimensionals on the back. Put one there, probably need three. Okay, so there, that is ready for my card. Another thing I wanna do for my card package. Let's see, let's grab my pieces. I've gone ahead and I punched out, let me put it on the, the silicone mat so you can see it. So this is from the tailored tag punch. I punched out, this will come in your kit. All of these pieces will come in your kit. When you spend $35, a minimum $35 in my online store this week until Friday, you're gonna get all of these pieces from me in the mail in, if you live in Canada. When you use this host code and you shop with me, it's a gift that I'm giving to my customers for shopping with me. So you're gonna get all of those pieces and then if you need to come back and refer to this video on how to put it together, this will be over on my YouTube channel in case you're, you forget how it goes together. So I'm gonna grab this stamp set. It says, I hope your day is on point. I love that one. So I've got that. I'm gonna just grab a block and pick it up. And then I'm gonna use my Memento ink and it fits perfectly on that punch shape. I love it. You could go ahead and you could stamp some little things at the top and bottom. I'm just gonna leave mine for now. Um, let's just flip it over. I'm gonna use the edges of my dimensionals because you never wanna waste your dimensionals, right? You wanna chop into them and use up your pieces. And look at that, I've got a nice long strip, which is perfect. All right, so let's just get ready here. And I'm just gonna peel off all of my wax backings. We'll bring back our card. Okay, so we have our card base. I'll cover up my little memento pad so I don't put my fingers in it. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna stick on here. I'm just gonna put glue on this left-hand side underneath because I do have dimensionals on my uh, cactus and I've got it on my greeting. So I don't wanna to put too, too many dimensionals to make it too thick to go in the mail. So here we go, we're putting this on here. And now 
Got a little fuzzy there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and grab my greeting and my cactus. So I'm going to put my greeting really close to the left edge of this mossy meadow piece. And then my cactus should fit right here in the sand like that. Okay, so the inside of the card, I haven't done much stamping yet. I've only done the greeting really, but I wanted to show you how to use your designer series paper to make quick and easy cactus if you're in a hurry and you don't wanna get all your stamps out. Of course, it would look so gorgeous, right? To stamp these and they coordinate with your punch, right? As I was showing you in the beginning, but I wanted to show you something a little different today. So for the inside of my card, I'm gonna pull out this little planter and this little um, sprig or greenery. And I really like this little tiny bloom. So let's use those. So we're going to pick those up with my blocks here. I had a chance between my videos to clean my blocks and to rinse my chamois because <laughs> I think I had every block that I own was in use. <laughs> Okay, so the inside of my card, I'm going to stamp the word hello. Why not, right? Just stamp hello. And let me grab another little block here. I love that this stamp set has a hello because, you know, not that we need an excuse to send someone a card, but it's always nice to send a hello card to someone that you haven't spoken to in a long time. And I, as I always say, it will totally brighten their day to get a card in the mail from you. So let's stamp hello right there. And then I'm gonna use cinnamon cider because that's the color of this bottom part um, of the 3D boss embossed. Um, it kind of looks like sand or like ground to me. So I'm gonna tie in my colors. So I've got cinnamon cider and I'm gonna stamp that right here. Love it. And we're gonna use our greenery and we're gonna stamp, I pulled in pear pizzazz. You could do mossy meadow, you could do old olive. Any of the greens would work. I'm gonna do pear pizzazz and see how that turns out. I'm just gonna line this up right at the top of my planter. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now when this goes into the card, like this, it gives a nice white border around the front of the card. I think that's why there's such an appeal to this type of card layout. It's so easy to do with no wastage and then you get a whole bunch of white space on the inside of your card um, to do your signing and to do more stamping. And then this little bloom, I'm gonna put that down here. Um, you can also, one thing, one, one of my favorite things about this style of card is that when you close it, you do have, once it's glued down, let's see, I'm just gonna line it up and show you. You have um, a window down here where you can stamp some smaller uh, greetings. Like you could put just a note down there. You could do hello, 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 hello down there, re repeating <laughs> so many nice options. So I'm just going to just hold this in place and I'm gonna stamp one of these little blooms in Mango Melody just down there in the corner. I think that's enough. I could continue it across the bottom, but I like it like that. It's simple and it, I think it, it's, it's gonna work. Okay, so now we're gonna put this down onto the inside of our card. I've got lots of room to write my message and to say, hello, how are you doing? It's been a while. How was your Christmas? Happy New Year. <laughs> Hope your day is on point. Now, the only thing left now is to add some bling. No card is complete without some kind of an embellishment. And this, you guys, is my embellishment that you are going to get as a gift from me um, if your order is $60. So if your order is $60, you're going to get a celebration freebie. You're going to get a package of these iridescent rhinestones from me. What is the size of my layer inside? It is four by five and a quarter, Louise. Yep, four by five and a quarter. Thank you for sharing, Tanya. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Is that cinnamon cider for the pot? Yes, yep, I use cinnamon cider here, and the inside was cinnamon cider as well, yep. So I'm just going to add some bling now. These are gonna be free for anyone who places an order with me 
uh, before Friday. This is a special I'm doing uh, this week for the catalog launch. So I'm going to use these to embellish my card. And you'll also get these in your card package. You'll get three of them in your package with all of your cut pieces. You'll just need to do your stamping because a Stampin' Up! rule is we cannot stamp the images and send them. So you'll get all of your pieces. You'll get the punch, all the punched pieces for your cactus, and you'll have to do your own stamping on the inside. So there is my quick and easy um, Cactus Cuties stamp set. Oh, I love it. And the matching punch. I can't wait to see all the other ideas that come out of using this punch. I can picture all kinds of different things. <laughs> it's not just a cactus, right? So um, I'm excited for this one. I hope it's a keeper. I hope, I hope it'll stay next year in the catalog, in the annual catalog, because I am absolutely loving these cactus. All right, let me just flip you around here. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you all for joining me. I've got... I've got the lines on my face. Can you see? <laughs> that is so funny. That is the sun shining brightly through my blinds. And it is like minus 26, I think, outside. It might even be colder. I could be wrong. But anyway, the sun is nice and warm. And it's so nice to see the sun shining. <laughs> so I'm going to go and get ready for supper and to come back and join you at seven tonight. I hope you will join me. I have another card share and I did spill the beans that is going to be the hedgehog bundle. So I hope you'll come back and join me at seven tonight for that card and some door prizes, you guys. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for following me today. And I especially thank you for ordering. Those of you who've placed orders, I appreciate you so, so much. And um, this is my full-time job and I love it. I absolutely love Stampin' Up. If you love Stampin' Up and you have a huge wish list, you should consider joining my team because it is the best decision I have ever made. And I'd love to have you with us. So have a great rest of your afternoon and I'll see you tonight at seven Calgary times. So that's Mountain Standard Time. Take care everybody and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.